We've got this X3M and we're going to be fitting lots of performance parts to it. Let's take a look at what we're going to be fitting and get them on the car. So what are we actually going to fit today? Over here we have the Eventuri intake system which includes the carbon cover for the airbox, the filters and the scoops that go in the grill. MSS height adjustable springs, downpipes, a section one exhaust, a set of 12 mil spacers all around and a Remus exhaust. On top of that, we are going to be tuning the car for stage two. So the car will not only look and sound great, but should perform really well too. As you can see, we've got a fair few parts to fit to the car. So let's get the car up in the air and get cracking.
That's all the performance parts fitted to this X3M. The ECU is also back from Femto. We've tuned it with our stage two package. Ish from Quattro Coachworks has transformed the bodywork on this car, as you can see, but I'm interested to see how it drives. So let's get it on the road and see what it can do. One of the biggest complaints people have about the X3M is the way that it rides the initial cars that were released had very hard suspension they handled really well just like this one did but for something that would be a comfortable family SUV they weren't that comfortable and with the MSS suspension not only does this car now look really good with the lowered ride height it rides very compliantly over these undulating B roads with no detrimental effect to the handling if anything it handles slightly better than stock but with none of the downside of the really stiff suspension i mean the exhaust is quite loud probably a bit louder than i would have personally <laughs> but the customer wanted to get as much power as he could out of 99 octane fuel so this car will be running around 680 horsepower now and from the draggy times we've seen a two second reduction in 100 to 200 kph times which is a very sizable chunk that would be a little bit more than two seconds if the second run was done on the same slope so the stock run was done on a slightly downward and then the second run tuned was done slightly uphill so you could probably take a couple of tenths off that at least but for a family sporty suv this car has now been transformed into something that can cart the family around but surprisingly for something that's a bit big heavy and tall you can also have some fun in it i can see the appeal of these cars because if you've got one car and you need it to do multiple things it's a very good option and with the changes we've made it's just made it that little bit more exciting that's it for now guys i'll see you in the next one Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. If you want to join the conversation, please drop us a comment below and we will do our best to respond to you. And if you're running out of things to watch, why don't you watch one of these two?